This is not a car review. I am actually in Wentzville, Missouri because I finally made a trip over here so I could visit my official channel sponsor, eTrailer.com. Man, it's been, what, four years, almost five years that they've sponsored my channel, and this is the first trip I've been able to make over to their corporate location um, right outside of St. Louis, Missouri. Anyways, um, it's morning. I am going to take off over to my uh, my friends over at eTrailer.com, and we're going to have a really, really fun-filled day today, kind of seeing what they're all about. Anyways, guys, hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are out here at the eTrailer.com headquarters. And as you can see, I have some wonderful eTrailer folks here in front of me. We'll uh, introduce them here in a second. But this is such a really, really cool facility. And I've already had a chance of walking through it just to kind of see what it's all about. And you better wear your walking shoes if you're, uh, you're going to take this tour because it's pretty in-depth. But you know what, um, we're gonna introduce the folks in front of me who are all with eTrailer. And what I wanna do real quick is I wanna set the right stage and the right tone for what we're gonna talk about inside and some things you're gonna hear. First of all, the one recurring theme that I hear over and over and over is neighbor. And I hear the focus towards neighbor. I hear every single thing, whether we're in the, the shipping department, whether we're in the warehouse, whether we're up talking to the programmers and all the different folks, the customer service agents, it's always what you're doing for your neighbors. And they've already told me what that means, but I think this is so important for, uh, for my viewers to hear this because in today's age where you buy something on Amazon, it's such a disconnected feel. You get the product in, it may not be the thing that you thought it was. It may not work the way you thought it was because it's just a product you're seeing a picture of. You're reading a brief description that obviously can't point out every little thing. And you end up buying something and sometimes returning it because it wasn't the right thing for you. And there's a disconnection there. So the term neighbors to me is such an important term because it, it talks about the values that you put behind what you do and the different segments. So real quick, we have Lindsay, we have Tyler, and we have Jake. Uh, they all represent different segments of eTrailer. And Lindsay, could you quickly just kind of introduce yourself, what you do here, and, uh, and then we'll move on to Tyler. Um, I'm Lindsay. I'm a category manager on the content side. So we actually develop the product descriptions, um, everything that you would read on the site when you actually come and visit us. I've been here about 14 years, so I've seen us through the very beginning stages of content creation all the way to what we are today. Yeah, you're a powerhouse in the industry too. It's, yeah. it's crazy. Tyler. Hey, I'm Tyler. Uh, welcome. Um, I've been working here for about six years. I work in marketing. I deal with all of our uh, digital media and um, paid marketing, including affiliates. Uh, the whole point of this is to meet the neighbor at the right place, the right time, with the right solution. That's kind of our goal in the marketing team. And there's that word again, neighbor. Jake. I'm Jake. I run the YouTube channel for uh, free trailer. I respond to all the comments and also make additional content for a website that goes on to YouTube to be able to uh, reach our neighbors in a greater ability to be able to make videos that are about specific questions. There's neighbors again. And now I'm worried, like, if you get sick, is nobody responding to comments? Currently, no. Oh, wow. So <laughs> don't get sick. You should keep this guy in a bubble. All right. So we're going to come back to Lindsay real quick. So Lindsay, the term neighbors. Um, again, I've heard it so many times and I had to actually stop and ask at one point, why am I hearing this term? Because it's, it's a bit unique. What, what does that mean to the folks over at eTrailer? We like to refer to our customers as neighbors because that's how we want to think about them. Um, when we first started out, we actually started as a small shop. E-Trailer's been through a ton of different iterations throughout the years, throughout the decades. And the one constant that we've had all along is helping our neighbors. So in the very beginning, they were literally our neighbors. Uh, the people who would just come to us from down the street and asking for our help with finding a solution, just like Tyler was saying. We're not about making sales, we're about actually providing solutions for people. Um, we want to keep that mentality of our customers are our neighbors no matter where they are out in the world. So our neighborhood has grown over the years tremendously by being online, but we still want to provide that same care and consideration, that same over-the-counter experience, um, that same idea of figuring out what exactly it is that you need and providing you with 
with that solution. So that's really cool. And I can really appreciate that. So again, huge facility. We got a lot to go over. We're going to try to go through a few of the different departments so we can meet the people, the, the folks here at eTrailer, the team that really all come together to make sure you have a phenomenal buying experience. And again, one of the reasons why this partnership between Big Truck, Big RV, and eTrailer has blossomed for so long. But more importantly, why this company that started off as a local company supporting and selling to neighbors has now turned into probably the largest e-commerce you know towing recreational vehicle equipment supply company I've, I've ever seen it's just phenomenal so let's kick this off i'm excited to get out of this awkward humidity i don't i don't understand why we have humidity in the, the middle part of the country it just doesn't make any sense to me but yeah we're gonna head inside in the air conditioning and we're gonna start taking a look at some of the uh, different areas of the e-trailer business Okay, so we are now inside, and this is an interesting area. I believe they call this the Vehicle Consultation Area? Center? Okay, Center. VCC. VCC. So we have Tyler here, and Tyler, if you can, can you take a moment and just kind of explain where we're at and what this area is set up for? Yes, of course. So this is our Vehicle Consultation Center. Um, we have this, this is actually the original desk from our first facility where we were just helping local neighbors and that was it. And we kind of brought it over as uh, a representation of, of that consistent value that we have, that we want to serve neighbors, we want to create that over-the-counter experience. Um, even though we are an online e-commerce business, we really like to focus on, hey, how can we create that over-the-counter service, whether it's, it's showing you every angle of the product, whether it's having an installation video or what that is. Whatever you need, because back in the day, you used to come in and be like, "Hey, I actually need, I need this, I need this part. This is broken. What is it? How, how can I fix this?" Um, and we want to try and do that in an online experience. So here, um, it's kind of the mini representation of that. If people can come in and ask those really difficult questions, um, "Hey, my trailer's not working. Hey, this, this disconnected. What do I do?" Um, you can come in here and ask these questions. We have experts here, basically all day, um, just to answer those questions. Well, that's very cool because I even see like a little uh, food center back here, some tables to sit down. Um, you guys have it set up, you know, the best way I want to describe this is, is back in the day, you used to go to your barber shop and you could actually sit down and talk to people. Or when you went to the auto parts store, you could have a conversation with somebody. And when you came back, it was that same person. You, you, you could form a relationship. So if you're in this local Missouri area, or even if you're in a driving distance, or even if you're visiting, this is actually an area where you can come up and meet the people that can talk to you about the things you might be looking for which is really cool yeah exactly like everyone every neighbor has their own journey and we just want to help um, help those neighbors continue their journey whatever that is provide the right solution at the right time um, the first time and a lot of times that journey requires a weight distribution hitch a fifth wheel hitch and that's going to kind of bring me over to this next section here so typically when you are shopping for accessories like a fifth wheel hitch or a weight distribution hitch or a tonneau cover things like that almost any store you go to might have a sample of one they might have one sitting there that you can look at but how often can you actually see an entire lineup of different brands different styles a fifth wheel hitches even a pin box right and this is the airborne sidewinder this one's made for short bed trucks so you get that better turning angle you have weight distribution hitches set up on this side. You have all your trailer hitches set up on this side. You have Gen Y, b and Waysafe. I mean, everything is just set up so you can actually see it. And one of the nice things about e-trailers is the fact that they carry such a large assortment of products and brands that it's very likely if you need to see something, they have it to show you. You're not just trying to look at pictures on a website. And if you have to look at pictures on a website, they probably have their website set up better than anybody I've ever seen. So that is really cool. Okay, so now we are entering, you know, I absolutely did not remember the names of all these sections. What do we call this area? Uh, the photo department and the one shot department. Photo department and one shot department. And uh, Zach. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm trying to remember names. So we've already been through this tour and now I'm, now I'm kind of acquainted with uh, one third of the people in each department so I can try to figure this out. Yeah. So this is a really cool area and I don't wanna just stick on this one shot. So maybe we can walk around and kind of look at what's going on in here. So this is the photo department and one shot area. Can you kind of define what you guys do here that's well, I guess it's kind of obvious what you do here, but maybe yeah. go in a little depth on, on what your role is. Yeah, what we're trying to do down here is put the product back in the neighbor's hands. So um, if you're sitting on your couch at home or maybe behind a desk at work and you're doing a little shopping, you can't touch a product that's on the internet. What we do, everything we're trying to do is make it so that you can touch those products, um, whether that's to help you make that buying decision or if you're just shopping around, um, we just want to make it 
that easy for it. Yep. And as an example, and a lot of times people may not realize when you watch a YouTube video or you watch content online at all, the, the content you see might only be five, 10 minutes long, but there's so much more that goes into it. And just from what you see here, if you go on eTrailer's website, which I hope you do, and you check out some of the content that they produce on just about every product, pretty much every product you sell. I don't Absolutely. want to say just about. You guys put out how many videos every day? Uh, 300 videos a week is our goal. 300 videos a week, that's that's insane. But that said, you know, you, you look at something like this, you might just think it's somebody holding up a camera just recording this or just taking a couple pictures. But it's so much more than that. And what I want to talk about here for a second is what it takes to actually just produce one of those 300 videos. Yeah. So in front of us, um, I came earlier and I got to see a young lady unboxing all of this stuff and getting it ready. Um, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so these are Weston Step Bars. Um, this is actually one of their higher end products. Um, this fit right here, I believe, is for a Dodge Ram, which is gonna have steps for your front door, your passenger or your rear door, and a step that allows you to access your truck bed. Um, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take this out of the box, and what he's alluded to here is how long it takes to do this. So getting one picture takes a long time. We're gonna take it out of the box, we're gonna do a layout, we're gonna lay all the hardware out, um, after we've done the layout, she's going to take some pictures, then we'll probably put the pieces together. So set them up like they'd be on a truck. And um, yeah, that's the process. It, it, what it takes is about an hour to do this layout for just six pictures that we can do in a couple minutes. So mm -hmm. from opening the box to putting it back away could be a two hour process just for those two or three pictures or up to six pictures that you're gonna see on a website. Yep. And that's just in this department. Once it leaves here, let's say you're gonna do a video installation of it. Mm -hmm. That could be hours of actual filming it and installing it. Hours right? to days. Some of our installations, like our flat toe installations, we allow three days for those. So that's putting on, or well, first off, it would be removing the fascia off a of vehicle, then putting on the base plate, putting in the braking system, putting in the wires or the lights that might need to go in the RV and or the, the tow vehicle. So it could be three days to do 20 minutes of video production. Yep. And I think the challenge that, that adds complexity to it is doing it the way the manufacturer says you have to do it. That, you know, there's so many folks who will open this up, they'll pull out the hardware package, and then they'll just eyeball it and say, I can do that, when they don't realize that there's an order oftentimes. There's an assembly process. There's things that you have to do that when you do it yourself, you figure it out eventually. But when you're doing it here, you got to read all this and go through it, see what, what actually arrived. I, I can imagine, just like anything that you buy, sometimes a bolt or a nut's missing oh, yeah. when Every you time. order it. Yeah. And when that happens, it and you've been filming, and now you're like, I gotta wait until I can find another bolt or another piece of equipment. It just adds complexity, and it's just, it's just kind of the behind the curtain aspect to things that a lot of people may not n realize whenever they're watching videos on anything. Anything that has to be edited and produced, it, it takes effort, it takes passion, and you got a really cool department here. So I'm gonna pan around it a little bit. You got people all throughout here working. How many folks do you have that work back here in your department? We've got 11 downstairs here. 11. Okay, and we're in the downstairs area as well. Can I call it the basement? We can call it the basement. Okay, we're gonna, it sounds kind of CIA-ish. There's 30 total people on the, uh, on the video photo team. Okay. Setting up the perfect shot for a tire. All right, guys, so thank you for watching eTrailer. What we're going to show you today, no, I'm kidding. But yeah, so here is a tire that's being set up for the perfect shot. What do we have going on over here? So these are our 3D tables. You can see we've got two tables. We've got our small table there, and we've got our larger table. Um, we can 3D up to about six foot wide, which is pretty wide. It, it, some of the biggest bike racks we carry just don't quite fit, but most big bike racks, most of our toolboxes, um, we're probably some of the fewest few people in the industry doing 3Ds on like a fifth wheel hitch, which it could be up to 500 pounds. Um, the table can handle us putting two people on there and the product, it's a pretty beefy table. Um, this is our video portion that we do down here. So this is the one shot team. Um, I've got two more one shot members that are out in the hallway, but this gentleman down here, he's, a, he's one of our one shotters. And this position is unique in that it's a one stop shop. So Jeff here is going to be our talent. He's going to be our writer, he's going to be our editor, he's going to be the videographer. He's going to do it all. It's a very tough job. Um, but what's awesome about this job is we can put out content very, very quickly. So from the time Jeff lays this down on his table, he's going to go back to his computer, do a little research, pull up our website, pull up a vendor website, um, get some information that he likes. He doesn't write a script because we want to sound, uh, we don't want to sound robotic. So he's mm -hmm. going to talk about uh, the products all individually. And then if he's happy with his, 
his video, he goes back, watches it back, and he can send it live the same day. All right, so now we've made our way over to the video department. And the video department is a little different than the other department we just came from, which also shoots video, but this shoots a different type of video. So this video department here is mainly tied to installing equipment on people's trailers, vehicles, RVs, all sorts of different things. And we have Bob with us today. There's a Whataburger pun in here that some of you may know, but I'm not gonna say it, but that's how I remember Bob's name. So Bob, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. All right, so we are now in the video department. This is your baby. Can you tell us a little bit about it? What's going on here? What exactly do you do in, in here? Okay, this is our demo test fit area where we'll do demos on products and then we'll do test foots of those products on specific vehicles, like year, make, model specific. Okay. So like we've got some bike racks here that we use for our demos yeah. and we'll take one of those and put it on a vehicle and do a complete full spec of the bike rack, um, everything it is, everything it has on it, how it works, how it interacts with you and your vehicle, or and the vehicle we're putting it on, and then after we're done with that, we can put it on more vehicles and do year, make, model test fits to allow it to uh, show it interacting with the customer's vehicle, so the customer can make a really good buying decision. Yep. And understand the pros and cons of the rack before they get it, and then they won't want to maybe return it because there's this one little thing they don't like about it when they get it. If they're looking at this, not only are they gonna see all the different pictures that are taken in the other department, all the different footage, the, the one-shot department, they're gonna see all of that, but then the next part of it is, well, how does this thing actually install? What does it look like when it's installed? Um, is there gonna be clearance for my lift gate to lift up when it's installed? What, what did the manufacturer do to help accommodate for things like that? So this is where you kind of complete that entire picture of an image for a customer so they know, or a neighbor, I need, to, I need to learn how to say that, so for a neighbor so they truly know what they're buying before they hit that order button. Okay, so now we are in probably one of my favorite departments here at eTrailer, the installation department. Why is it my favorite? Because you guys know I somehow figure out how to one-handedly install everything that I do and hold the camera with the other hand. So. Bob, you got something going on here. You have a truck already pulled in. Somebody's obviously into RV life, which is super, super cool. All right, so what are we looking at here? What's taking place? So today we're doing videos on fifth wheel hitches and we actually have this truck here um, as a borrowed truck so we can do different fifth wheel hitches that, that work. We originally installed the rails and this neighbor actually brought the truck back to allow us to use it for, uh, for the day. Um, so we'll do the BMW Patriot hitch. We'll put the uh, new blue ox hitches in the bed here and we'll test those out and do uh, show the neighbor what the difference is and how they work differently and and do the demos on them and everything else too. So Very cool. Uh, now are you gonna have to remove the BMW rails or will this fit in the BMW rails? Yeah so one of these is designed for the rails and it will fit in the rails that the, the BMW Patriot hitch fits in. Yes. Very, very cool. So before we move on, um, what's kind of cool is that there's uh, a perk to folks who might sometimes want something installed on their vehicle if you don't have any content on it correctly. And what would that perk be? So yeah, for um, most of the stuff that we do, we offer free labor for allowing us to have a vehicle long enough to do the video. Yep. So, you know, our, our major thing is trailer hitches. So if you want to do a trailer hitch with us, we can, you can bring the vehicle in, we'll do the trailer hitch and wiring for free labor, and you just leave your vehicle from nine to five. And that's assuming you don't have any content on that already, right? It's a new product or is that on anything? Um, no, for the vehicles with trailer hitches and wiring and stuff like that, we'll still bring the vehicle in, although we may have already shot the video on those specific parts because there are other parts we can do while the vehicle's here for that day. So in that case, we'll bring the vehicle in We'll put the hitch and wiring on as quickly as we can, and then we'll use that hitch for bike racks, uh, cargo carriers. We can do roof stuff if the car has raised rails on it. Anything we can do without modifying the vehicle in any way other than what the customer actually purchased to have done. All right, so as we come around the corner here, we got Brad, and what are you doing today, Brad? Today we are doing a hitch and trailer wiring installation on a CRV. Very, very cool. Now, are you documenting this process or is this just something you're putting on at this point? What's, what's the process here? So normally we would have the videographer with us. Uh, this one has already been shot, so this is just a normal installation, but generally uh, this would be 
filmed and we kind of go step by step. That way people can watch the video, make sure they get their hitch installed. It's just a nice resource for them to kind of, you know, bounce back and forth and make sure they're doing it correctly. Very cool. Brother, you were blessed to have an air-conditioned install bay. Yes. That's, uh, man, I, so. I did installs a long time back and man, it's, uh, yeah, this is great. Cool. Great months. Eight months, okay. <laughs> so you are observing and, and kind of shadowing what they're doing right here. Yes. So that's very awesome. And, and they allow employees within the organization to do that so you get more experience on this stuff. And then we have Dave. Hey, how's it going? Dave might be a familiar face. He's the one that actually did the install on Mark and Trish's momentum on, a, on Keep Your Daydream. So he's, uh, he's uh, pretty much a celebrity already. So that's really cool. Anyways, what are you doing today? What do you got going on? So we're taking this Jeep here, we're doing a flat tow setup on it. So they're gonna be pulling it behind their motor home. So the base plate that we're putting on here is the attachment point where they'll hook their tow bar up and then hook to the back of the motor home. We're also gonna be putting a supplemental braking system on it to apply the brakes when they hit the brakes in the motor home. It'll be a proportional setup. So the harder they're stopping there, the harder this is gonna to react to give you the smoothest braking possible. Um, we'll be putting diodes on it as well. The diodes will install in the electrical system for our lights in the back. It'll allow our motorhome to send current to our lights and illuminate them without back feeding and affecting our system. So that way when you're pulling your Jeep behind your motorhome, all the people behind you will know your intentions because the lights on here are going to mimic your motorhome, which this could potentially obstruct uh, some of the lights on your motorhome. Oh, very, very cool. Could you install a complimentary footprint gas pedal for them? Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is kind of a test fit going on here. They're specifically test fitting these tire chains on this Ram 1500. And then you can see how he's trying to capture all the imagery. Now, the pictures that you're taking, what are they gonna be used for? Uh, so we're gonna be using these for customers. Uh, that way on the site, they can easily find what it should look yeah. like uh, and it's fully installed. And I like how you're taking some really good close-ups as well, because sometimes that's the part that you don't see, right? You're trying to zoom in and you can't see it, but they take so many good images, of different angles and different parts of, uh, of what they're installing that that's really helpful whenever you have to really get a close-up shot of something that's important. Okay, so now we've moved into the customer service area. This is kind of the call center area here at eTrailer. And with me, I have Roger and Crystal, who are both uh, customer service leads here, right? Correct. You know, you guys probably field a lot of calls every day. And, you know, what's your mission here? Uh, I definitely think that our main mission is just to end the journey. So no matter what the neighbor's calling in for, uh, we want to make sure that they're taken care of, whether that means that we have to spend a little extra time asking a few more questions or if it's a quick answer, um, we want to make sure that that experience is great and that they don't have to call back. And we give them individual service. So as Crystal said, we listen to what they're asking, what they're talking about, what they need, and try to supply that need to the neighbor. What's an example of a type of customer service call that would come in? I know you get a lot of them, so it'd be hard to dig through them. A typical call would be, I'm trying to um, haul you know, this or that, or tow this or that uh, weight capacity, and we would have to help them figure out uh, what size and, and what all they would need to make it a successful tow. Yeah, so that's really cool. So it's not so much customer service, it's customer experience. You're giving somebody a better experience overall, so they're informed, and you just kind of, you, you add that additional layer of knowledge that helps people make that informed purchasing decision, which is really cool. Absolutely. Right? Yep, so I really appreciate it, thank you. All right, so we've moved over to the next room, and this is actually called the content area. So the content area is where all the really great content is produced here at eTrailer. And heading up this department is John. So John, would you like to introduce yourself real quick? Um, I'm John. I've been at eTrailer for almost 11 years, um, uh, primarily in the content department and uh, involved in quite a few different projects. If you can, kind of go over what you were talking to me about earlier. Yeah, so in this room we have three different teams, uh, the main teams that make up our content department. Um, we have our product management team, um, we also call it our content management team, um, so they're responsible for um, how our product pages look, all of the content that we put on there. Um, we really kind of take what manufacturers give us and really just blow it out. We get hands-on with products, um, we, we write really detailed descriptions, we build in as many features and specs on product pages that we know people actually want. Um, and not just what manufacturers want to give out. Uh, we also have a what we call a fit guide team. Um, so a lot of the products we sell are year make model specific. Um, so a, a trailer hitch needs to fit a specific 2013 Ford Explorer, for example. Um, so we have that team down here. 
And then we also have our Ask the Expert team. So on our website, you can go and ask a very technical, detailed question about a product. Um, just make sure it's right for your particular application. Um, and what we do uh, in our content department is we actually group them together by product specialty. Um, so in the back of the room here, we have what's called our RV and camping team. And on this team are our experts right here in the back, our fit guiders right in the middle, and then our riders right next to them. Um, and then up in the top left is our trailer and towing team, and the top right is our um, recreation and vehicle team. Um, so all of the questions that come in, all the content that gets worked on, the descriptions that we write, the products that we fit guide, um, if it's RV or camping related, it's done right here with this whole team. And they all know who each other are. Um, they can overhear just the day-to-day -day organic conversations that mm -hmm. happen. That's very cool. And before I leave, this guy actually called me out on something, which is super cool. I was actually glad he did it. He watched one of the videos that I did on the tractors and how I was using the, the buckets to push down on the scale that I had to show the the what I called breakout force but it wasn't exactly breakout force with how I was demonstrating it but one thing I always want to talk about is you got a lot of people in here a lot of experts right they're they're folks that are looking up information um, a lot of people watch my channel and they they see what I do and you know I like to always tell people I'm not an expert at anything you know I'm, I, I like to consider myself smart at RVs and towing and things like that but there's so many smart people that understand this as well and that you know the question he had was what exactly was I trying to measure and it gave me the opportunity to tell him you know I actually did that test wrong it wasn't the way I should have done that test but it, uh, it helped me learn and helped me clarify because when people leave comments saying hey that's not the way you're supposed to do that or this isn't the way you're supposed to do that for me I don't view it as criticism I view it as learning it gives me the opportunity to go back and I caught that so when I watched the video my, that I had put out and I read the comments, people had said, you know, what you're doing is not demonstrating what you thought you were demonstrating. And you have a lot of land, right? Or you, you were talking about how yep. you, you have a lot of farmland mm -hmm. that you have a lot of equipment out on. So, yeah, it was really uh, cool. And I, and I love engaging in that type of conversation. So I appreciate it. All right, so now we have moved into the warehouse. I guess you can call this shipping in warehouse or just warehouse? Warehouse. We have our shipping department over there receiving. Shipping's way there. over there, like way back there. Warehouse, warehouse. Very, very big warehouse. How tall is the ceiling in here? Uh, 36 feet is about how high we can we can go. The ceiling's probably another 10 feet beyond that. Yeah, it seems like it's closer to like 50 feet. Yeah, it's about 46 feet. Oh, that is crazy. But yeah, so we got Dan with us. He is the warehouse manager. Yes. So he is the man that has to figure out where every little thing is in this facility. And I got to always keep an eye out for forklifts that are just moving everywhere. But yeah, this is, uh, this is crazy. This is absolutely insane to me. And we're going to spend some time talking about this because this is the difference and you might only see one aisle but it goes down how many aisles that way we have uh, 12 aisles 12 aisles all the way down this way all right you got more stuff over here you got a ton of aisles over here you got more over here and this is insane because the difference between e-trailer and a lot of other companies is how much stuff you physically have on hand um so yeah warehouse is is um what we're all about out here um we get in tons of product every day. It all comes through the receiving department. We warehouse it um, right here, and we have pickers that bring the stuff up to the front, and um, then we have shippers that take the parts, box them up, make them um, nice and pretty, able to make it through uh, U UPS, USPS, and then um, hopefully it delivers um, on, that, on our neighbor's doorstep. So the goal is anything our neighbors order, we want to have it in stock. Um, the warehouse goal is to ship all orders same day. Uh, so the same day that we get product in stock, we want to be able to get it out. All right, so Dan just walked up to me and he handed me three bottles of seasoning here. And I'm assuming Hot Dan's is Hot Dan's right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, all right, so, so tell me a little bit about this. I'm gonna give you a plug nice. on your seasoning. Love it. So I grow hot peppers, um, dry them out, turn them into different seasonings and hot sauces. Um, these are a few of my favorites. Uh, I like to give welcome gifts to people that come around each trailer. Uh, so I'm excited to have you try those. I'm excited too. Who is Clark? Yeah. Clark is my daughter. Okay. Um, so Clark's a family name. It's my mom's maiden name. My middle name. I named my daughter Clark. And, uh, okay. It's sweet and spicy just like her. That is awesome, man. I am definitely going to give these a try. And uh, 
I love seasonings. I love spice, but um, I'm not going to try these before I get on an airplane. Yeah, though. that might be a good idea. Yeah. Thanks, brother. I appreciate yep, it. Absolutely. Okay, so we are out of the warehouse, out of shipping, and we are in an entirely different area of e-trailer. And this is actually where Tyler's desk is. He sits right back there. That's where all my gear is sitting. And uh, where are we at right now? So this is our content department, um, not the physical photo, video content. Um, but we have a couple teams up here. We have our development team. Um, and our development team, they're focused on building everything in-house, every application, our website, maintaining all of that. And we do that all in-house and create a personalized experience for our employees and for our neighbors. Um, we also have the marketing team up here. Um, our goal on marketing, like I mentioned earlier, is going to be trying to meet the neighbor at the right place, right time, with the right solution. Um, doesn't matter if it's Pinterest, doesn't matter if it's TikTok, by the way, go follow us. Um, and the last thing is we have our vendor relations team up here. And again, with vendor relations, it's not just about acquisition. We want to we want to partner with the right um, the right companies that really understand our goals, um, and we and we can align on ethics and principles that we have as a business. Um, very cool. So yeah, so this is where a lot of the magic happens as well. And I'm sure you guys are probably as shocked as I am with the overall scope and size and just how many people it takes to make, how many partners it takes to make this type of organization really a reality. And, you know, you guys saw from the warehouse to the, the vehicle consultation area. I mean, there's just so much to e-trailer that's beyond what you would typically expect from like an online vendor. So they're, to me, not they're not an online retailer. They're like a local place that's just doing business nationally. Mm -hmm. Right, do you ship internationally at all? Uh, we do to um, Canada. Okay. And that's it right now, but um, yeah, the whole idea is just create that over-the-counter experience and every person that you've seen today, um, they're all doing their part to do that um, just to make sure that, that we can supply a solution so the customer can continue on their journey. Absolutely. Well, we're going to shoot more content out here. Um, it's been fun. There's a lot of stuff to do out here. Um, I'm going to try to get a couple videos while I'm out here. So definitely, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, go check out eTrailer.com. they got so much cool stuff over there and they have just a huge team of people that want to give you, their neighbor, the best possible experience. So I know I typically don't do a lot of content where I just talk about e-trailer, but this was my one opportunity to really get out here and actually show you guys what it's all about and why they're such a valuable and great sponsor to Big Truck Big RV because our ethics align, what we're trying to do align, and at the end of the day, it's all about you guys. It's all about providing you with the content, providing you with the information, providing you with the tools that you need to have a better, safer towing experience, camping experience, and you know a place to get the stuff that you need. Guys, again, if you haven't had a chance, take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.